hey welcome back in this video we'll add a feature to compare any two or any number of pro uh, products in same page so that it will be easy for him to compare uh, those products so uh, let's get started okay so first of all we'll add this floating button over here so in order to add that we need to go to this sort uh, page so this project can be downloaded from github if you are new so uh, let's go to search.blade and i've added this button and give it class floating and i have defined this class inside app.css public dist css and app css so i've given these dimensions uh, right one person bottom one person and position fixed so that's it and uh, next we need to add some button here like add to cart will put a button uh, add to compare so in order to do that let's go to product view component so we are using view so we need to run npm run watch okay you can simply type npm run watch in your terminal so i will define a new component i'll create new one so new button called add to compare and it will call add to compare method which will create here okay so we added this method which will emit the edit to compare event and we'll listen this event in other component where we will compare those so let's go back to search start plate and replace this with a compare component which we'll cre create in a moment so i will create a new component i'll duplicate this compare and uh, we don't need this we'll wrap this with that okay so that's it okay in this component uh, we'll listen that event on edit to compare okay on edit to compare uh, we'll listen to that and and we'll push this sort to a new data a new property okay this dot will push that to compare items okay so whenever someone adds uh, item to compare it will store that item in this variable temporarily and then what we'll do is we'll store that in our local storage local storage set item compare items and we'll store that we'll string phi uh, json string will convert that array into json string compare items okay so we store uh, that item into this key compare items now now let's add that i think we have added uh, that button let's taste how it looks okay for now it's okay uh add to compare so we need to taste that okay we need uh, we also need to register this compare component in our app.js 
resources JS and here we have uh, these component we need to register compare and then components compare dot view there we go also we'll display here a count of how many item added to compare so that should be easy let's go to compare component and here I will create a span mm, we'll display here items dot length okay at the moment it is zero let's add one item something went wrong let's see events if anything yeah event is passing we're getting payload actually we are doing it wrong it should be it should be triggered when this component is created created and we can copy everything over here and we can get rid of this okay on this emitted event we will do that we'll also put that inside that okay now it should work there we go and we get on compare one two three four like so okay so now we have access to the items that we add to compare so when someone clicks on this we will so display our model and inside that model will display the information of the item that we added just like this okay so let me show you how I did this so inside this compare component this is the model and this is the compare button which we previously created and so inside this model what we'll do is we'll just uh, create a table so table with a header and inside body will loop through each products in compare item which will come from uh, uh, since we click that it will have all items that we add to compare so as we created previously this uh, we grab that from local storage and we push uh, them to this area so we I think we don't need yeah we don't need any of these okay so uh, for each row we put the header like so so these are header and let me refresh okay so image uh, since it is inside the storage folder and product image so this uh, item compare item contains hold uh, start or product object that's why we can access any of these properties similarly for name for description and price size so description we are storing as HTML that's why I have to convert that yeah to text so yeah yeah so that's simple so currently this is two product let's refresh and add couple more one two three four let's add four there we go so we got all properties that we can compare side by side you can also add add to card or remove a uh, button currently we can add and compare but uh, if we refresh page or if user visits any other page like home page and then search page uh, that the item that he added to compare will disappear 
so this is happening because we are not uh, facing item from local storage so uh, we are setting item but we need to fetch items if it is available on local storage so when component is mounted mounted so of course in compare component so when this compare component is mounted will get items so if there is item JSON parse so we need to parse it items that's it okay so now it should work even after we refresh there we go so if we refresh again it uh, still retains these two items so if we add any third item yeah we can still get this we can also add a method to remove uh, that item from compare list remove item so remove item will uh, get the item will pass item to remove whenever this function is triggered and then we'll find the index of that item so compare items compare item so we'll return the index if compare item id matches with uh, the item which we want to compare uh, remove so after getting index we can remove that from our this dot compare items splice index and one item we want to remove so this should remove the item from compare item and then we can set uh, the local storage to we can update the local storage value like so okay now here we can add that remove button remove so when someone clicks we'll call remove item and then we'll pass the product to remove like so okay so let's check that out okay we have three item to uh, let's remove this there we go there we go we got only one item yeah so it worked even after refresh so yeah so this is uh, pretty much uh, basic of how we uh, add the comparing feature using Vue.js in our application so I will see you in the next video. Bye.